who will be the ruling power in the world? For the last 300 years, or some say 309, modern Western civilization has been ruling the world. So who is going to rule the world at the end of history? Is this the end of history? Has modern Western civilization come to replace every previous civilization, to send them into the museums of history, to make them obsolete and redundant? You've heard it from me many times already. But hear it one more time. It is in Surah to Ali Imran. Jesus is to be crucified. Nabi Isa Islam. And he does not know what's going to happen. And the Quran now intervened. And the Quran has recorded a conversation with, with the Lord God speaking to Jesus. And this is what the Quran says. Ya Isa, O Jesus, inni mutawafiq. I'm going to take your soul. If Allah takes the soul and does not return it, then you're dead. But Allah says, they did not kill him. They did not crucify him. Shubbiha lahum. It was made to appear to them like that. If Allah took the soul and did not return it, is such a thing possible? No, because then he'll be dead. Well, then what's the alternative? Can it be that Allah took the soul and then returned it? Is that possible? Yes, the Quran says so. Allah yatawaffal anfusahina mawtiha, Surah Al-Zumar. Allah takes the soul. Allah, Allah yatawaffal anfusahina mawtiha. Allah takes the souls at the time of death. Wallati lam tamut. And those who do not die while awake, while you are asleep. For you msikulati kada alayha al And when Allah takes the soul while you are asleep, He then keeps those souls for whom death is written. And the rest He sends them back for a determined period of time. So Allah can take a soul and Allah can return the soul. And that's is therefore what happened. This is the explanation in the Quran. But no one knew it. No one knew it. And so if they believed that he was crucified, that's what Allah wanted them to believe. Don't blame them for that. So Allah says, I'm going to take your soul and therefore to return it. And I'm going to raise you unto myself. This is speaking to Jesus. So Jesus is not in heaven. No. Jesus is with Allah Most High. That's where He is. وَمُتَحِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I'm going to cleanse you of what they have said against you, those who have committed kufr. Today, no one dares to say he's a bastard and his mother committed sin and these things. Nobody dares to say that. Fulfilling this words of the Quran. وَجَعِلُوا الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ and I'm going to cause those who follow you. And therefore, the Ummah, the Ummah of Jesus, the Ummah of Jesus, this Ummah, those who follow you. I'm going to raise this Ummah of Jesus, raise them to a position of dominance over those who are committing kufr against him. And when I have raised this ummah, those who follow him, this ummah, this ummah, this ummah of Jesus, raise them to a position of dominance over them, they will remain in that position of dominance until the end of the world. And so the ummah, of Jesus will survive until the end of the world. But the schoolboys don't know that, or the schoolboys don't want to know that.